Hello, we are from IC Geotechnics and we are here to give a development presentation on our project which is Project Aspiration. For Project Aspiration, we are required to redevelop a site in the City of London and the ward of Walbrook. The site currently houses the Bucklesbury House and we are to demolish the building and to redevelop the site into a new development. In order to achieve all our targets, we come up with a design program in which we will outline the critical path for our design. And we will start with the death study and we will establish some constraints and we will develop three development plans and choose one from that and we will further develop that with the foundations and the structural aspects of that plan. The site is in the city of London surrounded by three busy underground stations, Measure House, Bank and Cannon Street Station. There are numerous uh, underground structures and historical buildings around the site. There's also archaeological interest dating back to Roman times and a subterranean river that runs through the site called River Warbrook. In order to better understand the surface geology of the site, we need to look at the historical uses of the site. The Romans were the first to settle at this region and they built the Temple of Mitras and also used the river to transport its sewerage to the Thames. The River Warbrook was subsequently buried and the site was being rapidly developed until this day. By looking at the boreholes around the site, we are able to come up with the geological profile of this site. And this geological profile is actually reflective of the typical London geological profile. The only difference between that and the, the general profile is that at the top, there is actually an alluvium and peat and bog deposits. Consideration of unexploded World War II bombs, deoxygenated gases resulting in the peat deposits, other consolidated grain found in the London Clan Lamb of Crypt deposits, oxidising pyrite nodules found within the London Clan Lamb of Crypt deposits, and the lack of data and inherent in homogeneity of the Lamb of Crypt all need to be considered in geotechnical design. The existing community on this site is called the Buckler House Building. It was built in the 1950s, during which many innovations have occurred in the activation techniques. By the end of the 1950s, excavation techniques were advanced with the help of compact drilling rigs and oscillators. We have researched with a pilot strategy in the loading plan of the building, parts with different lenses and different loadings are used for the foundation. Okay, we're in the middle of a conservation area. Close to the site are grade 1 and 2 listed buildings. Those are load bearing masonry buildings made principally of stone. Internally, the buildings contain a wealth of original finishes and surfaces, damage to which it uh, has the potential to significantly affect the heritage value of the buildings. It's densely populated by different underground infrastructure and they all impose different extents of restriction on our construction. But in our development, we will mostly focus on the underground tunnels, sewers and the river wall brooks. The locations and alignment of the infrastructure we need to consider are shown in the drawing. Another restriction is the archaeological presence on the site. An archaeological assessment has to be submitted as the proposals involve groundwork and or excavations on the site with archaeological potential. An archaeological evaluation will also be required as the site has three locations of archaeological interest. We expect fieldwork to take up to at least six months prior to construction. A scheme of protective works has to be submitted which includes evaluation of the dust and air quality implications of activities on the site. The team needs to utilize techniques to ensure air quality in the City of London is not affected by the activities on the site. Trees are protected by a planning act and have to be shielded on the site. Checks have to be made to confirm that there are no bats, bird nesting or roosting roots within the building or vegetation. Due to the location of the site and the vicinity of offices, construction hours have to be limited by quiet and standard hours. Quiet hours are from Monday to Friday from 10 to 12 to, and from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Standard hours are from Monday to Friday from 8 to 6 p.m. and on Saturday from 8 to 1 p.m. There should be no arrival of lorries outside standard hours and daytime and nighttime parking are not permitted. The cost of the project will be financed 100% by the client, which is GCG, and we have then looked into the average rental within 400 meters of site. So we have looked into the office rental, retail rental, two bed flat and one bed flat, as shown in the graph. Our company is dedicated to develop this site with three clear goals. The first one, we aim to fully maximize the value of this site as a cultural and financial hub. Second, we want to develop impactful development through maximum profitability and sustainable development program. And third one, we aim to offer a responsible development plan with high awareness on environmental impact. We then decided to come up with four potential developments. The first is financial institution or headquarter. The second is exhibition of Temple of Mitras. The third is Roman Londinium Hotel. And the fourth is office space and retail. 
We'll then come up with three designs and this is the first design. This design maximizes the use of space and concentrate on the development of hotel and office space without compromising the provision of green space for the enjoyment of the public. It includes hotel, headquarters and also green space for public use. Now here is the emphasis is on the optimal utilization of the site while still committing to provide a high quality financial center that integrates both the archaeological assets of the site and the cultural significance of the area. So the site shall be split up in three structures that are geometrically connected with 10-story hotel, 10-story headquarters and 5-story office. Design C proposes an innovative and one of its kind development. It divides the site into three main areas, building A, B, and a 2,000 meter squared garden for public use. This design's advantage is that it provides the client with more than five sources of income, it creates a social hub in the middle of the financial district, and a tourist attraction. The cultural heritage of Roman artifacts is incorporated into the design. Okay, the City of London has a small residential base in comparison with the active population. Its residential population is marginally increasing at a rate of 2.78% from 2001 to 2011. 63 of the population is aged between 20 and 54. The average age is 41 and the average gross weekly pay is 773 pounds, the highest in UK. After this week, this is what we plan to accomplish in the next week, where we have to submit one development plan Pre uh, prepare an SI plan for the boreholes and also a retaining wall design and power design which will be used to further develop our ideas and, de and designs of the project. We would like to thank our industrial clients and Imperial College Civil Engineering Department for this project. Thank you very much for your time.